Today's Stav Tech video is another Turbo Tech one rather than any of my project cars and it's one that's pretty unusual because it's about a turbo that is almost mythical in some worlds especially in sort of the drifting and SR20 worlds especially the more old school people who's been around a while but there's very little info out there about it it's uh most people seem to have no idea what it is apart from it's fucking awesome and this turbo is the Power Enterprise PE1420 Turbo. Lots of people have heard of it. Some people have even used them. Everybody raves about the absolutely incredible response they've got, considering it's a 380 brake capable turbo. But nobody knows much about it. But I've got one here, and I'm now going to dissect it so we can actually have a look and see why they're so special. I'll tell you one thing. We're in for a bit of a surprise at one point because I don't want to give the game away, but I've already had a look and I'll tell you what, I've never ever seen anything like this before and wow, I'm a fucking proper turbo geek, so I thought I'd seen it all, but this one's a new one on me, so uh, let's delve inside and have a look. Than being a Garrett though, it's an IHI, which is quite unusual considering the uh, design. Turbine housing, again, conventional like a Garrett, apart from it's not. It's a P20 housing, which is the size um, that IHI use. P20 is considered relatively big on Subaru STIs, which very similar IHI turbos are fitted as standard. It's nearly all P18 and P20 housings, and the 20s are considered the big, less responsive ones, but good for like much more power. So, on very similar sized turbos to these, they reckon going from like an 18 to a 20 can give like over 25 brake extra. Um, Yeah, there's the 20 there as well, if you can see it. Typical T2, T25, T28, whatever you want to call it, flange. And typical 5-bolt internal gate um, outlet, Garrett style, just like, you know, most T25s and so on. Internal gate, it's got a crack in it there, where they always have, it actually doesn't make any difference to anything. But there's the usual typical hairline crack. Just, uh, you know, unusual for IHI to be this design, but um, it's very typical for a, a Garrett T25, T28, GT25, GT28. Where it gets a bit odd is the actual wheels. Well, the core in general. Let me show you. The compressor, well... It's incredibly thin bladed, which is typical of IHI. And part of the reason they seem to flow so much for the size of the wheels. This thing's rated at like 380 horsepower. And um, it's only 46 millimeter inducer and 60 millimeter exducer. So very similar to a Garrett GT28 RS ever so slightly smaller on the inducer, the 28RS, but capable of, well, a good 20 brake more or so. But the only thing with these is you have to be bloody careful putting the housings on because the wheels are so paper thin, that um, which obviously helps airflow, but it'd be easy to damage it, so you gotta be super careful with these. The compressor wheel is actually an RHF 55 compressor wheel the same one as on a lot of STI Subarus. Christ, it even shows F55 there, if you can see it. I don't know if you can because of the focus. That says F55 because it is an RHF55 compressor wheel. A bloody good one. They are very good compressor wheels. But that's what these turbos are. While they're badged as Power Enterprise, 
they are mostly IHI RHF 55s so people worrying about rebuilding these um, there's actually generally no need because you can get the uh, the parts because they're pretty much exactly the same as a ball bearing Subaru IHI ones as I said it's a ball bearing core sorry for my uh, badly bruised thumb um, yeah ball bearing core water cooled alloy cooled of course but this is where it gets weird and genuinely I have never seen anything like this very carefully place that there From the top at least, it looks very similar to a typical Subaru RHF 55 turbine wheel. 44 mil exducer, and yeah, just a good IHO turbine wheel. But this is where it gets weird. I've never seen one with a design quite like this. But it goes tiny, big, tiny again. Usually, you've got an inducer, which is much bigger, and it curves out to the smaller exducer. This goes tiny and out and in, in, out, in. I have never, ever seen that. Going with the specs as a turbo, the power rating is very similar to what you'd expect from you know, a conventional turbine wheel, one of these. So I'm reckoning, but I don't know, that this funky turbine wheel is for response reasons and possibly why this thing is meant to give absolutely incredible response on like 1.8 and 2 litre turbos, considering it's a fucking 380 brake rated thing. It's meant to spool far better than like a GC28 RS which is a fast spooling turbo, despite being able to make more power. A lot of people say this spools as fast, if not faster, than like the stock, you know, S14 turbos, which is fucking incredible. In my head, it is for response reasons. I'll quickly explain why. Generally, when you're looking at um, power capabilities of a turbo, or more to the point, flow capabilities of a turbine wheel you generally look at turbine exducer size and obviously the exducer on this is that size and there's no changes nothing weird and that you know the overall diameter generally dictates the maximum flow but the inducer size seems to do a lot of the dictating of how fast it spools so potentially this has been done so it spools like a turbo with a tiny inducer but makes a power still of one with that size exducer. I don't know. It literally goes, I've measured it already. It goes 33 on the inducer, which is tiny. Then out to 48 at its widest point. And then back to 44, which is a typical size for an RHS5 turbine exducer on the outlet. Very strange, very cool. I kind of want to use this, keep this, do something with it because uh, although it's used, as you can see, it's pretty amazing condition. It hasn't had much use by the looks of it. And it's such a badass turbo, but I got fuck all to use it on. I mean, I found it at Thomas's workshop. He's had it on the shelf for ages for the same reason. It's got, you know, no actual use for it. So I may, Photograph this and put it up for sale soon. I don't even know how much. What are these worth? I have no idea. And that turbo wheel, if anyone's seen one like it before, I haven't. I mean, I thought I knew turbos, but I've never seen that one. It's very cool though. But yeah, let me know if uh, you can show me any other examples of this kind of turbo wheel. Because it's pretty funky. I've seen cutback blades, but that's normally on the exducer. This is like massively cut back inducer. And that's a new one on me. So yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned because I've been doing shitloads on the Volvo. Um, and other stuff actually. 
and I've got lots of footage I've just yet to edit it so uh, stay tuned.